Hey guys, what's happening? Trace face. Want to say hello and give a nice shout out to all my anti-narcissism campaigners that I have here on, on board, on my team. Um, so I want to, I really want to jump into this topic tonight. Uh, it's time. I've got my computer screen in front of me here. I try to do, uh, videos just of me in different, you know, I, I, I get, um, I get the spontaneous urge to do a video when I, when I get them. Sometimes it really is like when I'm in my car and sometimes it's when I'm in my living room. Sometimes when it's, a, you know, I'm in my kitchen and I'm, I just got done taking notes with, um, it could be a client, but, uh, right now I'm in front of my computer screen and I really wanted to, uh, to jump into this topic. It is time. It is definitely time. So this is a topic that I believe truly people are, really starting I, I am seeing it on so many so many areas so many places people are really starting to uh come forward and talk about this stuff and feel comfortable to talk about this stuff um and i th i think it's because they're you know when i was growing up in the 80s you did not talk about paranormal or supernatural things you just didn't I mean, we just had the, the start of all of it, like the horror movies and uh, the Warrens were out and and the um, Amityville Horror House uh, had come out and there was major controversy with that, uh, you know, where a lot of people were, were just were, were demoralizing these these folks for coming forward and talking about this stuff. And then, you know, you had you had people that were really starting to open their eyes and, and books were starting to be written about it. Well, now fast forward to our time. We are seeing multiple. I mean, we are seeing like a dozen right now. There's like a dozen shows on television about paranormal and supernatural occurrings and real life like reenactments of people coming forward and telling their stories with this stuff. And so I feel like people are more comfortable to talk about this and uh and this is bringing me into what I am seeing all around me in this YouTube community with narcissism and this, this, uh, uh, people's awakening to, to feeling like it is much greater and much more than psychology, that there's something, uh, supernatural and paranormal happening with, with, with encounters with these, these demons so to speak. And so uh, tonight, I I really want to dive into this topic because it is coming across my channel more than I can even, um, I can even believe. And then I am finding myself, look, you know, I came across a Quinn Holiday ASSC Direct video that I totally forgot about. This video had come out like three years ago, I think he put this video out and it is my favorite video of his. And I am going to leave a uh, link to it in the drop down menu as the first link I'm going to leave for you to, 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 um, to check out, uh, what is the most interesting of this video. Now, Quinn doesn't really get into the spiritual stuff, but he did I remember uh, one of his podcasts. He had um, he had interviewed uh, Joe. Uh, I think it's Joe Tyler is the guy who um, I love him too, and I'm I think I've subscribed to him. Um, and I will give I will always give shout outs by the way to the people that have clearly helped me, and that uh, I I think you guys should check out as well. This is not um, a competition of of narcissistic awareness. This is this should be a group of us that clearly all have um, the information to share and are doing it in different ways. And and there are a lot of people out there right now. I will definitely give shout outs to through through my channel and through my videos. Um, but I believe it was Joseph Tyler and him did this podcast together talking about the spiritual spiritual aspects of this stuff. Now Quinn doesn't really dive into that too much he kind of stems he's kind of steers clear of that however this video he did 
And I believe it had, I think the title is something like the darkness that comes with narcissists or something along those lines. Um, it, I found myself, I, I came across this video again. It came on my like um, home screen of, of videos to, to check out. And I watched it and uh, I forgot about this video. It's, it's, it's one of his best videos, I think. It's the comments that people left. Honestly, it could I could have written every single one of these comments. So I'm going to read these comments to you guys. And I, again, encourage you to check this out for yourself. But I found several of them. And um, I want to read these comments to you of what people wrote in the comments section of this video. Yes, absolutely true that they change you. Someone who did not go through that has no way of understanding, though. There is only you who can see what went on, and others are puzzled or just think you are a loser. <laughs> and yes, things pick up once you end up blocking them. Um, <laughs> I actually really love that comment. <laughs> It is so true that like if you try to talk about this stuff with <laughs> with like your friends or family or anybody anybody let's let's face it that has never been through this or especially a narc yes they are going to make you feel like you're just a loser like I can remember um I can remember one of the last things my ex-husband said to me was yes yes Tracy totally found a great product People love to sit around and, and corral the internet browsing and finding labels for their bullshit. Sorry, I, har I hardly ever swear on my channel. I just did. I'm quoting the narc. You found a great product, he said. You, 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 you found yourself a real great product there, labeling people. That's, that's, that's what people like to do nowadays, so, so good for you. <laughs> you know, in other words... I'm going to make you feel like a loser for finding me and my, my, my cronies out. You know, me and my, my fellow demon spirits. Okay. I liked that comment. Next comment. In the beginning of my relationship with a covert narcissist, I actually witnessed a dark gray to black cloud around him. I told him of this and he said nothing. At the time, he was about to leave my home. So much more to my story, but I swear that that dark cloud was his energy. Thank you for your videos, Susan. I don't know if any of you that have been following my channel, one of the, one of the first videos I remember uh, putting out was talking about the black cloud that I saw come into the room and, ho and hover over the narc. It's in my catalog. You should check it out. Unbelievable. I read that and I got the chills. Next comment. Uh, King David spoke about the narcs. For it was not an enemy that reproached me. Then I could have borne it. Neither was it he that hated me that did magnify himself against me. Then I would have hid myself from him. But it was thou a man mine equal, my guide and my acquaintance, we took sweet counsel together and walked unto the house of God in company. Let death seize upon them and let them go down quick into hell for wickedness is in their dwelling and among them. King David in the Bible is talking about these beings. And of course, back then there was no such thing, you know, called narcissism that came way, way later uh, in the Greek mythology. Uh, but this is, uh, this is perfect for explaining these kind. Can, can you not understand what this is and who this is and what we're talking about here? This is written in the Bible. Oh my God, yes, this man made me, my friends, and everything around me so much worse. Maybe they carry strong demonic spirits. It's horrible. He told me, I love making people feel un awkward. And they don't want you to be close to people other than them. Quite interesting. I had a, I had a narc. 
tell me the same thing. I like making people feel awkward. Another comment. They have telekinetic, telepathic drawing energy. I was drawn to one and I know I would have never looked his way. I am a God-fearing believer with a prayer life. So I knew inside something wasn't right. Everybody loves this man and calls him nice. We came from the same community and I always thought I always thought so too that he was nice. He is Satan in an empty shell. Next comment. I sense their negative energy when I stand close to them. I can identify them this way and I stay away from these people. I have a narc psycho radar now. There is a coldness, a tension, a blackness when you are in their energy field that repels you. Uh, going along with this comment, I had a woman this week put on my com one of the comments on my page how she actually ha has identified that she she could s ha that her ex had a smell to him, a very unique, very strange, very unexplainable smell. I identify with that too in my experience. Do you? This is all stuff I want you guys to really start thinking about because I'd love to hear what you all have to say in the comments. I, I wanna hear your, your stories and your experiences in the comments because this is going to help me. Uh, this, is, this is unbelievable. Next comment. Oh my God, I'm literally in tears right now. Your videos are truly what I have been dealing with from that demonic ex-husband. I felt like my life was wasting away. So many negative bad things happening to me for eight years. His demonic control, manipulation, lies, flirting, cheating, etc. He tried to make me go crazy and then put it out that I was crazy. I felt like now I am crazy, but that was all part of his plan. I am still not emotionally nor mentally healed from this and have had crying spells every day. He was so demonic and manipulative and can influence people so easily. I am literally binge watching your videos and they are really therapeutic. This is, again, this is the Quinn Holiday's uh, channel and his, and his comments under this video that I'm going to leave in the drop down menu. Your video about loving myself and getting back to myself I truly needed to hear that. Much love. I have a few more I want to share with you. I wasted eight freaking years trying to make sense of this relationship, of him, of his crazy making behavior. I wasted years trying to make it work, accepting all of his weirdness and swallowing every lie as though it were true, accepting his version of reality, his interpretation of events, his interpretation of what a relationship should be, trying to heal him from the nightmare he went through with his ex, he said, trying to fix him, give him what he needed, what he wanted, total waste of my life, she puts in caps. He is totally effed up, abnormal, mentally ill, pathological and undetectable, constant, irredeemable liar, smirking and smug and superior the whole time, extremely self-entitled. Again, I will repeat, I could have written every single one of these comments as my own. And again, I'm, I'm getting the chills reading this stuff. When you, this is the next comment that I, I screenshotted. When you discuss energy and soul and evil, you're already delving into the spiritual realm. I wasn't aware of it at first, that what I had gone through with my ex-husband was narcissistic abuse, but I knew it was spiritual abuse. Most narcs, if not all, are in tune with some sort of negative spiritual energy. Those that are conscious of it or become witches 
and or wizards, and their goal is to bewitch in order to destroy. They attack your soul and your innermost part. My narc used to astral project. Unbelievable. And he would possess me to the point I was not myself anymore. I used to model when I met him. By the time the relationship was over, by me fleeing, I was barely recognizable. Overweight, gray hair at 30, high blood pressure, uncontrollable tremors, fertility issues, depression. He had really done a number on me. It is only after I left him and went through a spiritual deliverance that I was back to my former fabulous self. As I got my deliverance, he got pancreatic cancer and died. Don't get it twisted. It is totally spiritual with these monsters. Okay, that is heavy, heavy stuff. Um, the astral projecting, yeah. My ex used to say that, he, that the same, he would do the same thing. I don't know. I, I really don't know. And, and um, I can relate to all of this. Everything she said. I know a lot of you. A lot of you talk about how when you were with them, you just, you started gaining weight. You started getting really stressed. You started getting really anxious, really depressed. Um, and, and see how she talks about spiritual deliverance. This is real stuff, you guys. This is what I was talking about. In checking out Derek Prince's work, that's what he talks about is being delivered, being delivered. And when you're around these kind of people, you need to be delivered because they have infected you on so many levels with their darkness. This is the last comment I, I, I screenshotted. <clears throat> people who have not been through the abuse of a narcissist do not understand what it's like. It has to be experienced to be believed because their behavior defies belief. A sane, rational person would not believe that the narcissist who puts on such a reasonable front would be capable of such behavior. It was only after I'd been through the abuse that I started to realize it's not me. Their behavior and the things that they say, their attitude and their self-entitlement is impossible to comprehend unless you've been there. It's insane and evil. It wrecks your head and destroys your self-esteem. Ironically, they pride themselves on how rational they are. And then they corner you with some tiny, insignificant detail of your life and turn it into a war which you can never win. You can't even sidestep the insanity with reason, their insanity with reason or humor. They have you in their grip and they are going to make you suffer. And they are going to enjoy every moment of it. If you try to defend yourself, they will twist and corrupt everything you say and use it to prove how wrong you are and how right they are because they are compelled to fight and win at literally any cost. <laughs> wow. Wow. I know you guys are hearing these comments and all of you are, are identifying with this. And, you know, we have just begun, we have just started to, to be, we're at the beginning stages of getting awareness out about narcissism. Researchers in science are literally, you know, we're, we're talking psychology right now, are literally coming forward. I, 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 I just read up on this the other day. They're literally coming forward and saying, we're not even sure what this is. We don't even think that we have this right. We have a lot more research to do on this. Well, <laughs> science, spirituality, You, some of you can argue with me that, listen, it's a defense mechanism. It's, it's because they're, they're, you know, this is what they learned. This is what they saw. 
I argue back with you. I will, I will, I will tell you right now. In my lifetime, in my 37 years of life, being around these characters since I was a child, my very best friend growing up was a narcissist, along with other characters in my life. People could have had that gene passed down to them, right? And or saw it in their environment growing up. But it is a choice because I know people that have had abuse in their life, sexual abuse, physical abuse, you name it. And they still made a choice of how they, they were gonna they were gonna take that in life as they, they became adults and, and, and came to the understanding. So I, I will argue with you that narcissism is a choice. These people have given their souls over. They, they, don't, they don't have a soul right now. That is why I believe they are on a conquest to taking souls. That's why you, you feel that pain, that hurt, that suffering that is lasting, that you are working so hard to get be- to getting back because it's your soul that has been disconnected from dealings with these devils. And that is why they're always pouncing around and preying on others because they are looking to steal souls. Satan got their soul at a young age or they succumbed to, to, to Satan at some point in their life. I don't even know if that's a word. They have succumbed to Satan. <laughs> um, and, and they are under his, his, his mass. He, Satan is the master. And Satan is working through them. And unfortunately, people that have sold their souls like that are continue are going to continue it. Are, they don't know how to get out. They don't, they don't want to. I'm sorry. It's not that they don't know how. It's that they don't want to. They like the demon inside of them or demons plural. This is on a massive level, guys. And this is, again, we're just starting to learn about narcissism. But I am so happy to see so many other people coming forward and speaking up about their paranormal, supernatural, um, uncanny experiences that literally, literally right now, all my clients, myself, people that comment on my channel, people that I've known in life that have gone through this kind of thing, every single one of our stories is pretty much the same. There's a few little differences here and there, but the behaviors, how? You tell me right now how you could describe that in scientific term terms. How? They hurt you on such a level, and then they continue to hurt you. in such covert, calculated, unbelievable ways, knowing full well what it is they're doing. It's such a, it, it, there, I mean, the thing with this, with this kind of abuse is there are so many levels of it piled on top of one another that it's like, it's so hard to explain even unless you've been through it. The ways in which they 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 take and they take and they take and they take. So I'm just starting. I, I am just touching the edges right now and talking about this stuff because when I started this channel, I knew this was the direction I wanted to go. But God is truly speaking to me by you guys, your comments, your experiences, you're coming forward and telling your story and not being afraid to. You know, I have a lot of stories with this stuff, guys. I've seen eyes go completely black. 
I've seen the black cloud. I've smelt the strange smells. I've had the dreams. The dreams of... I couldn't make up in my mind. Even My imagination couldn't even... Um, couldn't even... When I was dating, when I was with these narcs. Horrible dreams. Dreams from straight from hell. In fact... My last narc, I I had a dream that I was in hell. I couldn't make up what I saw if I tried. I've never had a dream before that I was in hell. And I honestly think, I honestly think that God sh brought me there to show me. And that's really, I feel like that was seriously a turning point for me of like where... Things were going for me if I didn't straighten out and smarten up. I've said this before. You know, Ahab allowed Jezebel to be a, to be Jezebel. Because Ahab was an enabler. And an enabler is just as sinful as, as, as Jezebel. I had to look at it that way, you guys. To get better. To get rid of the sickness. I had to stop enabling him. These people need to be exposed. They need to be accountable. They need this. They need to be called out for what it is they do and what they've done. They need to be caught. And they need consequences. Consequences for the... Horrible things they've done. And we have a long way of getting there, guys. Because they got, a, they, got, they got another one who is completely fighting us on their side. It is. I said it. I'm going to keep saying it. I will always say it, it is the war between good and evil. And the only way we're going to win is, is to get the awareness to spread to spread this awareness and education with others and to beat them by not allowing them to continue doing it number 1 and number 2 we always beat them from being good and continuing to be good don't don't level yourself down to their low vibrating levels don't bring yourself there don't do it. Don't get them back by going and cheating on them or going and getting them upset or trying to play into their games. Don't do it. Don't bring yourself there. That's what they want. And you're not like that. You're a good person. You have so much to offer to somebody you have value. You have worth. You have integrity. You have character. These are things that the narcissist will never have and never experience in this lifetime unless they were to get delivered by Jesus Christ. So this message is very long. Uh, like I said, I've, I'm just tapping into this stuff. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Share your experiences with me. Uh, let me know if you've checked out Derek Prince. Let me know what you think. I believe I have a folder on YouTube called Deliverance. And I believe some of his best work I did save and put into that folder. So please check it out. I am Trace Face. And you know it's time we face the truth together.